St. Charles County's positivity rate is more than 40 percent. That's almost three times higher than it was at this time last year. Our Pepper Baker spoke to the county executive about how they're handling the surge. But the fact of the matter is we are better. And boy, I hope I don't have to eat those words later. St. Charles County reported 7,100 new COVID cases within the last seven days. Executive Steve Elman says those numbers need more context. For the last year and a half, we've been saying that the number of infections isn't the important thing, because as you know, some infections can be very, very serious and others can be very, very mild. St. Charles County's most recent positivity rate is at 41%. Elman believes it's more important to focus on the number of hospitalizations and deaths. And we have about 21% of the uh, population in the region, but we only have 13% of the hospitalizations. So it looks again as though while our cases may be the same, the number of cases, the percentage of cases, the uh, percentage of people that are hospitalized is much lower. The county reported 747 deaths per 100,000 people. Elman plans to continue business as usual, recommending vaccines and masking, but not requiring. And we're not mandating anything. We are uh, letting those decisions be made by the people whether they want to be vaccinated, whether they want to wear a mask, whether whatever it is they, they want to do. This time last year, St. Charles County's positivity rate was 15 percent and St. Louis County's was 10 percent. Both are now almost three times as high. Even without the mandates, we've had uh, we've been as, at least as successful as other jurisdictions in the region in, in keeping the hospitalizations down and keeping the deaths down. In St. Charles County, Pepper Baker, five on your side. Elman did say 31% of their COVID cases over the last seven days are people under 20.